A 1.2 kilometre fishing net has big shark catching potential. We're going to take it out of the water and we're going to make sure it doesn't go fishing. The licence cost $100,000, bought in a bid to protect the predators and their role in a healthy reef. Hammerhead sharks are literally getting hammered out there and we have a chance to take this net out of the water and help save some of those sharks. Queensland government figures show the commercial shark catch on the Great Barrier Reef almost doubled between 2014 and 2015. That adds up to about 100,000 sharks caught last year. But net fishers in the region argue sharks aren't under threat. The amount of green zones and yellow zones where there's no commercial shark fishing occurring, no, there, there isn't a problem at all. The WWF's new fishing licence hasn't been used since 2004, prompting questions about whether the move will make a difference. It's just a PR stunt, you know, and just part of the political cycle. It seems to be that fishermen are the flavour of the month. Someone could buy it tomorrow and go fishing with it in a couple of months' time, and it could be out there catching sharks again. The federal government is considering listing some types of hammerheads as threatened species. Scientists and conservationists say the evidence is clear, urging a quick decision to save the sharks. This is a shot across the bow to the management authorities and to the Australian government that we believe they should be protected. The World Wildlife Fund is hoping donations will pay for the net fishing licence. Stephanie Smell, ABC News.